Hello YouTube, this is part three of the modified, my modified GMRS Revis RT97 two-way radio repeater box mod. Um, I've had a person ask, well, what's the purpose of doing this? The reason being is because I want to modify the repeater for more power output. So I need to put the amplifier, the new duplexer, the repeater, the, I don't have the power supply out here, all into one box. I'm hoping to go from 5 watts to about 25 to 30 watts, hopefully. So that's the purpose of this box. And if you look, watch my other videos, you kind of see how I have it laid out. I'm making this video to show you a couple tips and tricks that I'm learning on the way. Um, as you can see, I got the box painted, primered and painted. We got the hole cut out here. That's where the this connector is going to go in there. And that's where the power is going to be coming in and the coax cable um, or from a battery, whichever power you know, source I need to use. Um, one thing, though, if you use power coming in, you're going to have three wires. You're going to have a hot, a neutral, and a ground. Make sure you ground your box. I'll show you that after I get it all back together. I drilled a hole. I have a hole here for a bolt and a nut so I can ground this box properly because it's metal. Now, you don't have to use a metal box. You can use a wooden box. You can use a plastic box. You can use whatever box you want to use. I happen to use a metal box. I got this box for free, so I made it work. Now, you may ask yourself, what are the measurements? Because I want to build the same layout that you did. Well, the height of the box in side measurements is 13 and 3 quarters. The width of the box is also 13 and 3 quarters inches. The depth of the box, not including the lip for the door, the actual depth from here to here is 8 inches. So there you have it. Then you can build, take a piece of wood and make this type of layout. Amplifier will be mounted here. The duplex are here, and then I got another piece of wood that goes on top of these threaded rod for the um, Redivus R90, uh, RT97 repeater. The power supply will slide in here. So that's uh, what the measurements are. Another tip that you should do is when you get your box done, or whether you build it or you buy it or whatever, do a water test. And what I mean is, Without the electronics inside an empty box, close your door, put this box out before a big storm comes and see if you got water the next day. I did that and I'm glad I did because I had a little bit of water here in the corner. And I'm thinking it's coming in from this, this gasket, it's not no good. So I'm going to buy some black self-sticking gasket material. I'm going to replace this. Hopefully that will fix my problem. Otherwise, the box should be fairly sealed. I do have two holes, and I have holes there for U-bolts. Now, in hindsight, I wish I would have just put the U-bolt in, welded it, and then I could have welded up the holes so it would have made it water resistant. But I didn't do that. Um, I still can. I'll just have to retouch up the paint because once you put a flame to the paint it's going to burn the paint off in the inside not a big deal but I at the time didn't think of it I did however add a chain a chain's been bolted and welded so that if I go around a tree you can use a padlock to lock it so it makes it hard to steal whether it's a tree or a pole if I use a pole I can use my u-bolt but then I'll still use this chain to paddle lock it. Obviously the box itself will have a paddle lock on it. Uh, gosh, I think that's about it. I'm trying to think what else to tell you. You can, and, and for that matter, you don't need to really wait for a storm. You can use a garden hose. You know, close it up, spray a garden hose over it and see if you got water in it. If you do, try to figure out where it's coming from and fix the problem. So you could do that too if you don't want to wait for a storm. Um, I did order the cables, so I got cables on order, and I what I did was I put all electronics in there, and then I used a piece of string, and I cut the string to the length that I need, 
Then I measured the string and that told me the length of cable I needed. So that's how I did that. So the cables are on order. Might take a week or so. As soon as they come in, I will put this thing all together and you will see the final product. And I'll do a video on that. And then we'll maybe do a distance test, make sure things is working properly. And uh, then this project will, then will be done. Um, so stay tuned. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. And please subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.